Worm Online has been around for a while. The title was first released back in 2006. It was made by Rolf Jansen and Marcus Person at Code Club AB. Person of course went on to create the ever-popular Minecraft, and you can clearly see his style of game design in both games. Like Minecraft, Worm Online is a sandbox game. There is no real goal or objective, you are free to do whatever you want. You start off with nothing, and have to gather resources and craft items to survive. Worm Online has a unique crafting system that allows you to create just about anything you can imagine. You can build houses and settlements in the open world and even dig and shape the world to your liking if you have the time. All this freedom sounds great at first, but the way it's implemented in Worm Online is through a whole lot of very complicated systems. There is a deep and involved skill system that will take you a long time to master. The game also has a very steep learning curve. Worm Online is definitely not for the faint of heart. The game world is massive and there are plenty of things to do. Players can gather resources, build homes and settlements, tame animals, and even go on raids against other players. There is a lot of freedom in Worm Online, and players can pretty much do whatever they want. One of the things that make Worm Online stand out is its focus on player-driven content, and the economy is completely player-run. This makes for a very unique and dynamic game world that is always changing. The downside to Worm Online is that it can be a bit grindy at times. The game does not handhold players, and it can be difficult to figure out what to do next. There is also a steep learning curve, and players will need to put in some time to learn the ropes. However, once you get the hang of things, Worm Online can be a rewarding and fun game for the right type of player. The graphics in Worm Online are pretty terrible to be honest. The game still has the same graphics that it had over a decade ago. There have been some improvements made to the graphics over the years but, for the most part, they are still pretty bad. The world looks very blocky with sharp edges, and the animations are stiff and lifeless. However, the graphics are not that important in a game like Worm Online. The focus is on gameplay and player-generated content, not pretty visuals. The soundtrack in Worm Online is pretty good. It sets the tone for the game world and helps create a sense of immersion. The music is calm and relaxing, which is perfect for a game that is all about taking your time and exploring. Worm Online has a small but dedicated player base. The game is not for everyone, but the players that do stick with it are usually very passionate about the game. Even with a small community, new updates to Worm Online is frequent. And the developers are always working on new content for the game, which might suggest that the population is at least steady. Worm Online is technically free to play but at a certain point, a premium account is required to progress further in the game. A premium account allows players to increase skills past 20. You can use real-life cash to buy Worm Online's main currency, silver. Having a lot of silver doesn't give you any huge advantages though. So, is Worm Online worth playing? We would say maybe, it really depends on what type of player you are. The game offers a unique sandbox experience that is unlike anything else out there. If you are patient and willing to put in the time to learn the game, Worm Online will definitely be worth your while. If you enjoy sandbox MMOs with complex crafting systems and survival elements, definitely give Worm Online a try. However, if you are looking for a fast-paced action game or something with great graphics, then Worm Online is probably not for you. Do you agree with our review of Worm Online? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to MMORPG.GG for more MMO news and reviews.